Hi everyone, I am Siva. Welcome to Review Table. When we are planning to buy a new phone, we keep few things in our mind, primarily the budget, the RAM, the processor, display and the battery. Even after buying the phone, we keep checking how fast the RAM is, how fast the processor is, how good the battery and display are. But we tend to focus you know, less on uh, if phone has any features which may save us uh, in a lot of time and which may come in handy and increase our productivity. Today let's look at top 15 of those features on Samsung Galaxy M30s. And uh, these features are not specific to this phone but they, they are available across all other Android mobile phones. But they may be different in terms of uh, names and how you access them and the number of uh, features available on the other phones. As I have to explain uh, each feature in detail, I am splitting this video into two parts. Uh, today, let's look at the part one. Please subscribe to my channel. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's look at how we can add an app to the home screen. For example, let's go to the, where the apps are. In case if I want to add the Facebook to the home screen, long press on the icon and you see the option add to home. It comes to the home screen. If you want it to be on the very first screen, just hold and drag it to the home screen. So it's there. And if you want to remove it from the home screen, just long press on it. You see the remove from home. It will only remove from the home screen, but will not delete the app. So you can still see it. Let's see how we can access the control center. If we swipe from top to the bottom of the screen, and you can see the control center and, and you can find a lot of icons and you can manage a lot of settings right from the control center and you really don't have to go to the settings, right? And it, you can also have an option to rearrange the order and so how many icons you want it on the screen. For example, you want nine apps, 12 or 15. Here I have chosen 15 so that at a time I can see 15 apps, five, 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 15 apps. And you can have one more screen as well. It is so handy if you want to quickly access the um, settings and change them. And in this, we have one more nice option. I would like to cover it right here, which is night mode. If you go to the night mode, what it does is it turns all the you know, white background or all the LED lights from white to the dark so that it saves a lot of battery and it reduces the strain on the eyes as well. There is one more cool feature on Android 9. And let's see what it is. See, if you want to access the control center or notification center, as we have seen earlier, we need to swipe it. I mean, basically we need to touch the screen, swipe it from top to the bottom. But we have... Uh, we have a fingerprint sensor as you know here. So what we can do is if we swipe it from top to bottom and bottom to top. This is called smart access to notification or control center. Let's see what happens. See this is the screen and if I swipe from top to the bottom on the finger sensor, you can see that you can access the notification center. If you swipe it again, you can see the control center as well. And if you swipe up back, it goes up. So it is so convenient and you don't really have to touch the screen to access control center and notification center. So the next feature that we are going to talk about is auto brightness. So let's go to settings, go to display and you can see adapt to brightness. If you turn it on, it saves in uh, two ways. It saves a lot of battery because brightness gets adjusted as per the ambient light around the phone. And it also reduces the strain on the eyes. And in addition to that, we also have a blue light filter on. So see, normally what you know, causes the strain on our eyes is the blue light coming from the display. And if you turn the blue light filter on, it eliminates blue light and it reduces strain on our eyes. Now let's look at another exciting handy feature. So to access that, go to settings and go to the advanced features. And in Android 9, there are some really um, handy features, especially in terms of gestures or uh, uh, smart uh, options. So the first, we are going to talk about the smart pop-up view. You can see right here and uh, you can also see the icon which we are going to talk about. It's called smart pop-up view. What it does is, let's, let's open it first. So it displays all the apps that are eligible to use this uh, option. So when I would normally you get a message or a notification. When you press that, it will take you to the app and you take the necessary action right there. But 
what smart pop up view does is you see a small icon like here for example i got an email notification to my gmail account so if i press on that you can see small pop up coming up right so i can see what the content is inside this email i can reply as well and i don't have to open the gmail app the full app and i can send the mail or send the reply done it's so handy and very a very cool feature and this is called smart pop up view let's look at another useful feature which is called direct chat it is also available in the advanced features so make sure that it is turned on and let's see how it is useful and what it is all about if you want to share a photo and you click on the share and you see the contacts here can you see the contacts here so what it shows is that the most frequently communicated contacts right here you don't really have to look for those contacts so normally we you, we uh, share with the friends that we uh, mostly communicated with so it is so useful you can just simply choose the contact and hit the send button so easy when the phone is locked so if you want to see the home screen what we do is we press the power button so that we can see what is on the home screen so instead of doing that and pressing the buttons we have two more options and those are called lift to wake and double tap to wake let's see how it works if you just raise your phone or lift your phone you can see home screen is wake up and another way is if the phone is locked just double tap on the screen you can see the home screen so let's see how we can enable this it's available in the settings advanced features and go to the motions and gestures you can see lift to wake turn it on double tap to wake turn it on so when we are getting an incoming call and if i silent it because it may be disturbing to others or maybe sometimes for us we may be in meetings or we forgot to put the phone in silent mode so we have another feature called easy mute it's also in the motions and gestures and just turn it on and you can see what it says mute incoming calls and alarms by putting your hand over the screen or turning your phone face down so when you are getting incoming call if you put the phone face down like this or if you cover the screen with your hand the, the call will go silent let's see how it works let me make a call so i'll be getting a call and i'll be doing the uh, face down so i'm getting a call that's it so simple the call went silent and uh, we can also do the same let me cut the call first here yeah. by putting the hand on the screen as well uh, i think it will come very handy one annoying thing on uh, this phone particularly and all the other samsung phones and um, for that matter other android devices as well is the dynamic wallpaper and the themes you know they keep um, coming to our screen unwantedly with a lot of um, junk information and uh, every time you lock you see some news from <laughs> part of you know bollywood or hollywood or the, the politics and the screens keep changing and it's so annoying and it's for, annoying for me as well as you know the people that i have talked to so the, the best way to eliminate uh, uh, those things is go to settings and you can see the wallpapers and themes and here again you need to go to settings and whatever the option that you see just turn them off add galaxy themes icon and marketing choice and notifications turn it off and uh, what you can do is you can choose the wallpapers right from your uh, gallery or the existing wallpapers and so that you can see only one wallpaper and you can keep changing it of course and it depends on sometimes people may want to uh, see the news um, and you know different uh, wallpapers or skin savers but it's, it's up to them but you know it's, it's definitely annoying to a lot of people and this is how we want to you know turn them off so far we have seen some of the cool features on this phone and my favorite feature is smart pop up Please do let me know what your favorite feature is and if you have any questions or comments please do post them in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet 
Please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please hit the like button and share with your friends. You can click on the bell icon to get the latest updates from my channel. Thank you for watching part 1 and see you soon in the part 2. Till then, take care. Jai Hind.